Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Another 7 days that I video doing all this in Alpha 19.1 on the PC, just in case they change something down the road. And yes, this is a departure from the Wasting Warrior series. But fear not, the series will come back. It's not going anywhere, nothing's changed. We're just covering a topic that was brought up a lot during the Wasteland Warrior series, and that is the concept of the infection system. Because, well, if you saw the series, you saw our infection got up into the high 80s before we finally found some antibiotics and got it to start going back down, thankfully. But people were asking me, it was like, well, what happens? What other debuffs do you get? What levels do you get the debuffs? And when it hits 100%, do you just die? Does it just you just kill over dead? Do you start taking damage and slowly bleed out, or do you turn into a zombie and run amok? So that's what we're going to try and aim to test in this video. Now I do have a mild infection. You can see right now it is at 2.2%. This is a level one infection. If you go into your stats here, it's a mild infection. Nothing really happens. It just continues to climb up. From 0 to level 14 is the level 1 mild infection. After that, you jump up a level, and that's when you start getting your debuffs. But we need to get up to that level first, and then we'll show you guys what it actually looks like. And while we're waiting for that to go up, there's only three ways to cure an infection as of this version of the game. That is with honey, herbal antibiotics, or standard antibiotics. Honey you can find in, you know, kitchens or things like that sometimes in tree stumps. Herbal antibiotics you can learn to make eventually, and same things with regular antibiotics. But as far as what they do, regular jar of honey will give a 5% cure to infection, so basically it decreases by 5%. Herbal antibiotics go down 10%, and standard antibiotics go down 25%. They do stack, so if you take one on top of the other, it'll minus 50%, minus 75%, and so it gives a cure ratio of what it's going to take it down. So if you take three of them it's going to say minus 75 percent to whatever your infection is if your infection level is below 75 percent it'll eventually climb back down to zero assuming you don't get hit again because if you do get hit as we've seen in the series also it jumps back up again so these are the three different ways you can actually cure an infection there aren't any other ways to do it right now if you don't do anything about it it's just going to continue to climb until you eventually just die all right, so you can see over on the side, the infection meter is now a light orange because it has passed the threshold of 14%, which is when it gets into a level two infection. It goes from a mild infection to a standard infection, and that's when you get your first debuff, which is the stamina regeneration minus 25%. So everything you do, running, jumping, climbing, beating on things, doing pretty much every single thing in the game that uses stamina, now you recover it 25% less than you used to. The level 2 infection goes from 14% up to 57%, so there's a pretty good size window before you get your next debuff. According to everything that I could find, it takes about 3 real-time hours to go through the entire scale of the infection. I am taking the uh, scientific approach of letting a dog bite me over and over again to get the infection ratio up higher and higher and healing myself, giving myself food and stuff like that. So that you guys can actually see what it is without me having to sit here and let my computer run for six to seven hours straight, hoping to get the infection up to the level where you can see it. But as you can see, it's up to 14% and still climbing. So we'll check back in when it gets up to the next percentage level and see what other debuffs you get there. Okay, you can see over on the side that now the infection icon has turned into red. That means we are in level three of the infection. This is a severe infection. Stamina regeneration is minus 35% and all of your attributes are at negative one. So if you did have any skill points in pretty much any single thing at all, it's going to minus one it. It won't go down below zero, fortunately, but that is where you are with the severe infection and it goes from 57% up to 100%. Now, judging by what I can tell from the files and from what I can find online, when you reach 100%, you just die. But we're going to keep going so we can show you guys exactly what happens because I know people will be disappointed if I just say, oh, by the way, you hit 100%, you die, and take my word at it, you guys want to see me die a horrible, painful death, even if it's a slow one. So we'll get back over and let the dog bite on us a little bit more and get this up to the next level and show you guys what happens at infection level 4. Okay, well, you can see now that we are at 99.1% and pretty much just awaiting the release of Sweet Death. That's pretty much all we got to do is just sit here and kind of wait for it. You can see as far as our physical appearance, we are still a strapping, good-looking guy. 
just waiting to die from infection so you don't have any kind of weird grotesque growth or anything as far as debuffs going on your severe infection still stamina regen at minus 35 percent and all attributes at minus one so once you hit that 57 percent threshold in your infection ratio nothing else changes up until 100 percent and even then we're not quite sure exactly what's going to happen we're just going to kind of hang out here for just a bit and see what happens when it finally rolls over to 100 percent see if we die see if we start losing life We'll just kind of uh, keep the film rolling and see what happens. 99.9% .9 should be any second now. We should see exactly what happens when you roll over to 100%. It's been a hell of a journey. We got bit by a dog probably 800 times trying to get it up here. So it better be something super awesome and dramatic. Okay, there's a uh, 100%. Uh, we, we didn't, oh, oh, nice. Well, there you have it. That's what happens when it hits 100%. It likes to delay for just a second or two, long enough to give you a little bit of hope that maybe you're not going to die before you just kick the bucket. There's no losing of life. There's no bleeding out. There's just straight up death. And then you respawn. And once you respawn, all your debuffs are gone. There's no longer a death penalty, at least in this version of it, and your infection is gone. So if you're just like me in the Wasteland series and absolutely struggling to find antibiotics, you could always just take the uh, coward's way out, I guess you'd say it. Eat some glass, sacrifice yourself, wake back up fresh, new, and infection-free. So that's it. That's the infection scale in 7 Days to Die as of Alpha 19.1. Who knows if they'll change it. They have changed it a few times. You used to take a little bit of damage once you got past 57%. You'd start taking a little bit of damage. It did damage to your wellness system, which is no longer in there. So who knows what the future holds. But as of now, that's what we have. So if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave those down below. If you found the video useful or entertaining, make sure you leave a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. It's free, and that way you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.